Okay, hi, this is Adam here with Adam L Photography, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different shoot. We're shooting uh, some promotional images for blues musician Robert Roam. Now, did I say that right, Robert? Roy M. Okay, Roy M. <laughs> Roy M. Sorry, I'm terrible with uh, names. Uh, basically, it's a little setup today. We're down here at RJ Social's bar in uh, Okinawa, Japan. I'll shoot a link to the bar on the video right about here somewhere. Uh, so you can check them out. Check out uh, Robert's website by clicking this link just here, and uh, we'll get all that. Uh, get all that cool information to you by the end of the video for sure in the links below. Now, today we're going to be shooting with uh, Nikon D800. We've got a couple of real minimal lights set up. The lights in the bar are already atmospheric enough. Just a few little back lights and front lights to make it work. And I've got a 70 to 200 on here just to really blow out that backdrop and get some cool shots. We're going to start now shooting a few shots of Robert. Here we go. All right. So one of the things to keep in mind when you shoot with a camera like the D800 is its uh, biggest strength is also its biggest uh, curse, and that is that the sensor is so big, any shake from your hands or from the shutter can cause a little distortion or blur in the shot. So what I've got now, because we're shooting at a low shutter speed, is I've got the camera not only on a tripod, but I'm also using a lens with the vibration reduction. Okay. See, Robert, I'll just get you to just uh, take a seat there for a moment, just because yeah. I've got the lights set up really well for that spot. Okay. That spot? okay. That's not bad, yeah, so I think, yeah, basically we can pull that. Having a little chair there is not too bad. A few little things on the sides is kind of cool. But what I'll do is uh, in post, I'll just darken that area there a bit mm -hmm. and that a bit so it looks a little more focused on you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, give you that space completely blacked out. Yeah, that, yeah so that, that's looking good. All right, cool. Okay, guys, back in the uh, computer now after the shoot with Robert tonight. And I uh, brought up one of the images I took with uh, uh, a bit of a wide angle of the fisheye just so I could show you my lighting setup. Um, unfortunately, while we're at the bar, it was kind of tight location. We're a little bit short on time, so I didn't want to uh, be chewing up too much time shooting a video um, at Robert's expense there. So instead, I've shot a little bit at the bar, and now I'm going to show you a little bit in post of what I did for my setup. So uh, as you can see in this shot here, um, I had my, one of my main lights, which is uh, one of my Yongyo uh, F uh, sorry 563s which is uh, what I was using. All three of my flashes were for, uh, Yongyo 563s. Now this was firing into an orb, back into an orb with a silver lining to give it sort of a more of a, uh, a sort of sharp, high contrasty look. And I was using that to, to cast a decent uh, bit of shadow across Robert's uh, uh, side here, light him up a little bit, but uh, also give him contrast in his face and keep that bluesman sort of feeling going on. Um, I was shooting that at a really low setting, I think at 1 28th of, a, of its uh, power setting, just because I was also exposing to try to bring out some of these blue lights in the background, and I didn't want to uh, overpower everything with flash, so that was quite a minimal flash. Um, my second flash, which was running in channel B on my um, 560TX controller, um, is this guy here, and I was bouncing that off of this uh, little bit of whiteboard here, just to basically separate Robert, give him a little bit of a rim light around the side of him and the, along the, this side of his face. Again, that one was also firing at, I think, at, yeah, at 128th as well, just uh, giving soft but subtle definition to the shot. Now, on this uh, particular shot here, Robert's using this really nice, um, I think it was a Gibson, actually, this really nice guitar uh, with this beautiful dark wood grain. And using this light that was here, plus the light at the back, the, the guitar was getting really cast in shadow. So I added a third flash, as you can sort of see just here with this light here. And that was bouncing straight off the roof and back down um, at about 1 64th, just to add a nice fill light here and bring out this color of the guitar. Um, I'll show you a couple of example shots in a moment, and then uh, give you an idea. Now these are straight out of the, uh, out of the camera shot with the, uh, the D800 at this stage. So there's, uh, there's absolutely no editing on these shots, raw out of the camera. Okay guys, here's one of the shots. Again, this is straight raw out of the camera. So this was shot on the D800 uh, using my Tamron 70-200 2.8. Uh, 
Uh, that's the VC model, the newer model. Um, and because I've got the VC and I also was using a tripod, I was able to slow my shutter speed right down to 1 80th of a second, shooting at 2.8. And that allowed me to keep the ISO quite low, which I wanted to have the ISO quite low because Robert was thinking about using these images also for a uh, poster. And I didn't want to lose uh, or gain too much noise when it was blown up to poster size. So I wanted to keep the ISO low and really capture the image. But at the same time, I still wanted to bring out uh, these, these nice lights in the background. Now, what would have been ideal is if I could have brought Robert further forward and really, really... Uh, you know, uh, put these uh, these backlights out of focus and give them that super bokeh looking uh, feel to it. But the space that we had was quite limited, so I had to just work with what we had. Um, now that's uh, that's shot at 95 mil on a 70 to 200 2.8. I would love to have had that at 200 mil just to really compress that shot. But you work with what you've got on the situation. Sometimes your locations just won't allow for it. Um, but as you can see, you know, looking at this shot now, so there's. Uh, the backlight here just casting a nice little uh, little bit of rim light just across here and across the side of Robert's face. Um, you've got uh, the, the main light giving the nice uh, sort of um, soft general light across Robert's face here but still allowing a little bit of shadow in these areas here. Uh, very important when you're shooting photos of a man as well is you want to make sure that there is some shadow underneath the jaw because it gives that little extra definition. Um, also, we've got some nice catch light in the eyes from that, uh, that nice big orb that's uh, casting the light off there. And as I said earlier, you can see just bringing up the, the detail in this grain here um, in the guitar, it's, uh, it's really important that we didn't lose that into shadow, so that's why the third light was in place. Now, what I will probably do with this shot is just here, the, it's a little bit harsh lighting on the hands, it's a little bit uh, more exposure because of this additional flash. So I'll probably tone that back down a little bit in post just so I can uh, keep the focus here on Robert's face where it needs to be. Um, other than that, you know, a few little things that will get cropped out and fixed up in post. But uh, all in all, that's a really, really nice example of the shot we've got. And I'm really looking forward to see how it turns out once I actually get it into Photoshop and have a good play. So uh, that's a really short, not overly in detail, but um, a little look into uh, what it's like to shoot on location and uh, what sort of images you can expect to get afterwards. This is Adam L. Happy shooting.